Hi everyone. Today we are going to be looking at full join or you call it full outer join. In our previous video, we had looked at inner join, left join and right join. And I made it to realize that left join and inner join are two joins that you would mostly use. Okay. However, it's also a good idea to understand what a right join is, which I had explained in my previous video. And also for you to understand what a full join or a full outer join is. Because there are some times that you are also going to be using full outer join. Okay. And if you are new on this channel, I will highly encourage you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you get notified whenever we release any of our videos. And also don't forget to like our videos because as you know, when you like our video, then we can be ranked higher uh, by the YouTube algorithm. Okay. All right, guys, let us take a look at what full outer join is. Okay. So what is a full join or you call it a full outer join? A full join would actually return for you records from both tables that you are considering, the left table and the right table, with nulls in place where the join condition is not met. By now, you know how we join two tables together. We join two tables based on a particular condition, based on a particular column, right? A column or two column or two or more columns, okay? Now, if there is no uh joining condi joint condition met right then you're going to have nulls but what do we really mean by this let's start this way we know that when there is a sort of intersection between those two tables that is when they have things in common when they have matching keys then the, it is this intersection we are talking about right here that is table a has a matching key with table b remember your primary key and your foreign key okay when they have matching keys However, there are times that there might be some records that you have in table A, but you don't have in table B. But when you do a full join, what happens is that that particular record is going to sh be showing null for table B in the result in your resulting table. Same thing applies to table B. If table B has some rows or some records, but there is no matching key. There is no match between between table B and table A. What that means that for that record, table A is going to be having nulls. And this is what we mean when we say with nulls in place where the joint condition is not met. Okay. An example would, would make you to really understand this better. Okay. So let us take a look at an example right here, guys. Remember, if you remember those two tables we've been talking about, the customer table and the rental table. Now, this is the customer table. You can see it right here. It has a customer ID, which is the primary key. We have the rental table, which also has a customer ID. But in this case, this is, but in this case, this is a foreign key right here. Okay. Now, when we perform a full join or a full outer join in which your customer table is your left table which means that that in your query you're writing your query that is what you are going to write first and then your rental table as the right table now let us see how this is joining right here remember we had also used this table for our right join where we did where we dealt with right join okay now how does this work let's look take a look at this this is customer ID one. Okay. So that is what we have right here. If you take a look at this customer ID one is Mary Smith. There is a corresponding customer ID one right here, which is why we have this here with a rental ID 26 and inventory ID 2346. You can see right here, rental ID 26 and inventory ID 2346. You can see that we are able to return this full record, these full rows, right? Both from the left table and the right table because we have a matching key. This matching key is one, right? Customer ID one. Now, what about if we go to two? Now, if you look at this, we have customer ID two right here in our left table, which we can see right here in our resulting table as Linda Williams. Okay. 
but there is no customer id too right here or in this rental table we don't have customer id too so because we don't have customer id too then we are going to be having nulls we are going to be having nulls in this so that means that rental id is going to be null customer id is going to be null for the rental table and the inventory ID is also going to be null because we don't have corresponding rental id customer id and inventory id for this customer id too right here can you see that now right yeah right here guys and that is why we say that we are going to be returning nulls for those records that we don't have matching keys because there is no customer id too right here we only have it here that is why we are we are returning it right here but we are returning nulls for that right here okay very good guys now let us also look at customer id3 you can see that customer id3 is right here it is victor gibson so we have customer id3 right victor gibson however we also have customer id3 right here and because of that we are able to return the rental id which is 27 the customer id for this rental table we know is three which is going to match this three also right here and then 2294 you can see 2294 okay very good guys now what about what about customer id 4 if you look at it customer id 4 we have telma murray we have telma murray right here however in rental table we also have re oh, re oh, we also have customer id 4 right here we have three of customer id 4 right here right and that is why if you look at our resulting full outer join we have three tell memory because the first tell memory is this and that is going to join with this one right here you can see 24 4 15 25 15 25 right and then we have another customer id 4 which is this guy right here which is where we have the second one here which is 25 4 24 52 you can see right here guys that we are joining these two tables we are having both records from the left table and the right table right here however if there is no matching key we are going to be returning nulls like we did right here do you understand that right here guys you can also see for this term memory right here this is joining with the fourth the fourth customer id4 right which is 28 that's 28 you can see four you can see four 23 46 you can also see 23 46 i hope you guys understand this let us look at another one right here customer id5 grace ellis you can see customer id5 right here okay however we don't have customer id5 right here because of that we are returning nulls for all those columns from the rental table why because there is no matching key do you get that right now now if you look at the third the, the last one you can see that we've already exhausted all the customer ids right here however we have another customer id here which is customer id 6 right and this is on the right table and that is why you can see right here we have customer id 6 here customer id 6 right then the rental id is 29 and then the inventory id is 44 you can see that guys however we don't have any record of that in the left table and that is why we have null for all of this null for this null for this null for this because we don't have anything that has to do with customer id 6 in our left table can you now see that guys how we are able to join can you now see how we are able to join the our left table with our right table in which case for every of those records that we don't have a matching key we are going to be returning nulls you can see we returned null right here we also returned null right here i hope you guys understand that right now okay now let us quickly take a look at how we can write such query using pg admin okay 
Now, if we take a look at this, now if we take a look at this, I've created two uh, customer two tables right here, customer table and the renter table. So I called it test customer and then test renter. And we have also seen this in our previous video before. But let's just quickly take a look at what we have inside of those tables okay let's quickly take a look at what we have inside of those tables so we have select star from test customers okay if i run this i think there is some mistake right there we made some mistake right there. i think this should be customer let us execute again very good you can see we have the five rows customer id first name and last name as the columns right now what about if we want to see what we have in the rental table which is called test underscore rental as you can see right here if we also run this select star you can see these are the records rental id as the column customer id and inventory id as the columns okay and then we have six records six rows so now if we want to join these two tables together i will do a copy and paste right here since i've showed you how you write this type of query the only difference right here from the inner join or left join or the right join is that is this keyword right here so instead of writing inner join or right join so you, or left join you just write to have full join if you want you can also call it you can also write full outer join that is still going to give you the same uh, result okay so in this case we are selecting the customer id okay so i'm calling it customer customer id because this customer id i'm showing that it is coming from the customer table okay and then we have uh test customer this means that this customer id is from the test customer table and then we have the first name we have the last name okay those are coming from the test customer table then we have rental id which is coming from the rental table and then this customer id is coming from this test rental table and that is the, re the reason why we are putting the table names right in front of the customer id it is because we are joining on the customer id because we have customer id on both tables and the postgres sql server will be confused if you don't specify what table the, the customer ids are coming from i've showed that to you in my previous video you have seen that before okay now and then you can say from this test customer because i'm having test customer as the first table right here this is going to be my left table okay then i'm doing a full join to a test rental table which is def which is going to be the right table right here because that's the second table i'm writing on um, now you need to specify what condition which which on which column are you joining we are joining on the customer id column so the customer id column from the test customer table and the customer id column from the test rental table okay and then if you want to order you can do a order by let's say you want to order by this customer customer id you can do that right here just because you want to show some ordering okay now take note this is what you need right here this key is very important full full join okay now if we run this let's see what we got execute very good you can see right here like i showed you previously you can see that on the full join you can see that you have null 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 right here which means that for customer id 2 we don't have corresponding or matching key in the right table which is this test rental table okay same thing for customer id 5 right we don't have matching keys for that in the rental table but for customer id 6 like we showed customer id 6 is on the right table which is the rental table but we don't have corresponding or the matching key in the customer table and that is why you see null 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 right here let's assume you want to change this to let's say you want to change it to inner join let's change this to let's see what we are going to get let's see if it's, the result is going to be different from what we have right here if you execute very good you can see right here remember what i told you guys inner join 
is going to return for you those records where you have matching keys you can see we have matching keys for left table and right table on customer id one customer id three customer id four that is why you have that right here okay you can also play around with this using the left join and the right join so that you can be able to understand the differences in all these things okay i will go back to change this thing to a full join and like i said you could also say full outer join okay i will execute again that is that about that guys i hope you understand this concept right here so so far so good i've been able to explain to you from my previous videos i explained inner join i explained left join i explained right outer join or right join and now i've explained full join i hope you understand the fundamentals or the concept of this right here guys go and play with this more uh, so that you can better understand uh this concept okay if you are new on this channel i highly encourage you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you can get notified whenever we release any of our videos and please don't forget to like comment and also help us to share our videos so that more people can benefit from this i'll see you guys in the next class bye